Welcome back to the PDF Element YouTube channel. I'm George. In our previous video, I demonstrated the process of restoring a fillable form to its default data. It's important to note that this method varies among PDF tools, and it can only restore the entire fillable form to its original data. This may be inconvenient for recipients who need to locate the Recover Form button or reset specific portions of the form data. To address this issue, in today's video, I will guide you on adding a reset button to a PDF form, allowing recipients to easily reset the form data. In the second part, I will demonstrate how to customize the reset button, such as changing its appearance and selectively resetting specific form data instead of the entire form. Additionally, once a radio button is clicked, it cannot be deselected. In the third part, I'll show you how to reset a radio button. By the end of this video, you'll have the know-how to reset your fillable PDF form. Exciting, isn't it? So let's dive in. And let's move on to the first part. Add a reset button to a PDF form. This sheet is filled with ABB company's balance information. Now, I will add a reset button to clear the entire sheet. Navigate to the form tab, where all fillable text fields are highlighted. Locate the push button in the navigation. Add it to the below sheet, right click and access the properties panel. Change the field name to reset sheet. In the options section, choose the content appearance. If you opt for label only, enter the label name, reset balance sheet. Move to the action tab to specify options for what happens when the button is clicked. Since I want to reset the sheet, I'll choose to reset a form and select all fields. Confirm OK. Now, head to the Home tab to test it out. Voila, the entire sheet is back to its original status. However, this reset button doesn't look good and it can only reset the entire sheet. How can we make the button look like this with an icon? Also, is it possible to configure it to reset only the year one data? Let's dive into the second part where we'll explore how to customize the reset button. This includes adjusting the button's appearance and defining the range for data reset. To edit the button's appearance, we can navigate to the Properties panel. Here, we can adjust the box and text color. In the Options tab, the layout provides several choices. You can opt for either Label, Icon, or both. Additionally, you have the flexibility to determine the position of the icon and label. I'll select Icon Left and Label Right, and proceed to upload the icon. There you have it, an even more eye-catching reset button. Now. Let's talk about how to reset partial form data. Follow the same steps to add the push button to the sheet. Change the field name, box, and text appearance. Label it as Reset Year 1. In the setting of the action, choose to reset a form, but only select the Year 1 fields, not all the fields. All done, let's test this button. This time, only Year 1 data has been cleared. We're now at the final part, how to deselect a radio button. You will find the checkbox can be deselected, but the radio buttons can't. This is because the logic for setting them is different. Checkboxes allow users to select multiple options simultaneously. Each checkbox represents an independent choice, and users can check or uncheck them based on their preferences. Furthermore, each checkbox operates independently. The selection of one checkbox doesn't affect the others. You can see the names are different for each box. While radio buttons are used when users need to choose only one option from a group of related options, they are mutually exclusive within a group, signifying that users can only choose one option from the set. Here, you will find that all buttons have the same group name. So, how do you deselect a radio button? You can also add a reset button to achieve this. The process is the same. Go to the Form tab, add a push button, edit the button, and move to the action to select reset a form. This time you only need to select one field name. Let's test it out. And it works. Thanks for staying with me till the end. After watching this video, I hope you can not only add a reset button to your PDF forms, but also its appearance and functionality. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more PDF tips. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.